In my world, there are a few constants. In April, Delhi is always sultry like a boiler room. I always need my morning chai. And importantly, Apple's phones are usually the prettiest and most well designed. You know what? Something crazy is going on. It's like my world has turned upside down. Here I am drinking coffee. It's raining outside. And here I am testing this gorgeous phone which is not from Apple. Guess what? It's from Samsung. Yes, the very same company that made the hideous looking Galaxy S5. Boys and girls, this is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Hey, what phone is that? Would you believe it? This is Samsung's new Galaxy S6 and I find it to be really gorgeous and to me it looks even better than my iPhone 6. It looks really classy with this glass and metal design. Wow, that's really nice. But why does it have sloping edges? The sloping edges are here for a reason. You have notifications out here and it's all obviously here for design. It looks totally space age and it's really awesome. Really? Dude, see for yourself. Wow. Now Samsung claims this phone takes some amazing photos and you know what? They are right. Everything shot on the Galaxy S6 is better than the iPhone. Yeah, Samsung all is fine but it's nothing to be an iPhone, yeah. My friend, that is changed. Look at these photos. The Galaxy S6 is taking photos as well as the iPhone 6. In fact, it is a little better. In fact, they've also made launching the camera simpler. You just double tap that button and boom, the camera is active. But it can't be faster than an iPhone still. No, it is faster than the iPhone. In fact, it takes photos at light speed. Look, it's almost like a machine gun. And opening multiple apps has never been easier. You can actually open 30 apps at the same time. The Octa-Core processor and 3GB RAM keep things running at a record pace. Oh, and this phone can charge super fast. In 30 minutes, it can actually reach 60% charge. And even in general usage, it will last you slightly longer than a full day, which by the way, is longer than an iPhone 6. Now this phone is not without flaws. Samsung has dumped the waterproofing, the removable battery and the micro SD card slot. All these features were found in the Galaxy S5. Even the curved screen doesn't add much in terms of user benefit and the software still looks buck ugly. Despite all this, if there's a phone that's going to give the iPhone 6 a run for its money, then it's going to be the Galaxy S6. In fact, it is better than the iPhone 6 in many ways. And sometimes... Coffee tastes just as good as tea. And up next on the show, the most anticipated game releases of 2015. And first on our list is the all-new Batman Arkham Knight. So Nishant, you're really excited about this. I know you're a very big gaming buff. Uh, so what's the one game that you're really excited about? And tell me why you're excited about it. Most anticipated games has to be Batman Arkham Knight. It is the final conclusion in the Batman Arkham series. So Plus, Batman will be, you know, donning his cape for the last time, which is really sad. But there is a silver lining. That's there it. is a silver lining and it comes in the form of the... Full HD. Brilliant. That is the biggest news for all the gamers out there. Full HD makes sure that this game has to be one of the best ever graphics for any game out there forever. Plus, there's the Batmobile. I mean, how epic is that? For the first time in the franchise's history, players will get to drive the Batmobile. First time ever, yes. And it's a GPS-controlled Batmobile. That's the best part about it. But, you know, the question is, why have the developers of the game taken so long to, you know, 
get the Batmobile into the game? Is it because, you know, they were lazy about it? Or is it because, you know, they thought, let's save the best for the last? Why do you think they took this decision now in the final game? I think they wanted to save it for the last game as well. Plus, the gradual progression to a bigger console and next-gen console made sure that Batmobile could be integrated into the gameplay very well. So right now, Batmobile is the biggest thing that all Batman lovers would have to look out for. Okay, so what can we expect uh, in terms of gameplay that will be different this time around from the first three installments? So besides the biggest thing, which is the Batmobile, now the Cape Crusader can glide through the total of gameplay. So he, if wherever he is, he can just glide through cities, go through tunnels, and that is an extensive, a very, very extensive, a very, very coveted uh, glide that is there. So he can actually take down, he can shoot down people as well when he's gliding. So that's another big thing that's come up in this new edition as well. And also there's something about more combinations when he's fighting the bad guys. Right. So there's also that. So that's something, you know, much more intensive combinations of kicks, punches and moves that he can use to defeat the bad guys. Right. But at the end of the day, Batman game is very simple. It's about defeating the bad guys, putting them in jail. And that's why I think, you know, uh, fans love the game so much. And, you know, now that it's the last game, I'm really hoping that it will be the best Batman game so far. And, you know, personally, I'm looking really forward to it. WhatsApp is a great app. It's fast, easy to use and a convenient way of staying in touch with people, especially now since almost everyone uses it. But off late, WhatsApp has added a new feature which makes it a privacy risk. If you're not careful, anyone can figure out your daily movement and activity from the information that is displayed on your WhatsApp profile. Wondering how you can stop people from stalking you on WhatsApp? Here are some simple steps that you can follow. Step 1, and I'm sure you already know this, just start blocking people who are irritating you on WhatsApp. To block a contact, open the chat window for that particular contact, tap on the three dots on the top right, select more and select block. And if you think the person deserves forgiveness, you can unblock him or her later. Hide your profile picture. On WhatsApp, anyone can see your profile picture. It's pretty much an open invitation to stalkers. To change this, click on the three dots in the main WhatsApp window and select Settings. In the next window, select Account and then Privacy. In the section Who can see my personal info, select Profile Photo and set the settings to Nobody if you're really paranoid or are annoyed with strangers complimenting you. Turn off your last scene. Why give your stalker the satisfaction of knowing when you were last available online? Hiding your last scene is a huge step in safeguarding your privacy. In the same, who can see my personal info, select last scene and then choose the option that you want. Turn off those blue tick marks. Now WhatsApp users know when a message has been read because those two little grey tick marks turn blue. So once a sender knows that his or her message has been read, there's obvious pressure on you to respond and that can be really annoying. To turn on the blue ticks feature, go to the section Messaging in the Privacy window and uncheck the red receipt. And now no one will be wiser. These are all the tips that we can offer. You, of course, are the best judge. You are the one who needs to distinguish between a pushy friend and a stalker. So the next game on our list is Uncharted 4. Uh, it's about Nathan Drake, uh, who travels the world. He's a master thief. Uh, he steals expensive paintings and artifacts. And uh, what I've really liked about this game is that it has that Indiana Jones action theme to it. But at the same time, I felt that Uncharted 3 was, you know, the perfect game. You know, the ending was great. So they didn't really need to make Uncharted 4. But now that they have, which is great, how do you think they're going to top that from Uncharted 3? How do you think they're going to do much better? I think what, you know, really differentiates between the Batman Arkham Knight and Uncharted 4 is that Batman has a very, very technologically savvy kind of a feel to it. It's new age game. It's set in a newer, you know, in a newer dominant where you can actually have, you have a lot of access to gadgets and a lot of new combats. But on the other hand, Uncharted 4 is very raw. So that's what I really liked about the game. There's a lot of running around. It's an open world. There's no, I mean, you know, you don't have bad mobiles around in this game. But there's a lot of running around. He needs to swim. He needs to take, sail, he needs to sail through uh, seas to get to new, newer destinations and that's how the game really unravels. It's a very, very good game. I mean, I saw the trailers. 
And what I liked the best was that, you know, you, the, the player, when, you, when you're playing the game, you need to do a lot of rock climbing as well. And it's just not a normal rock climbing. It's the actual rock climbing that we see on Anadju as well, where people are going bonkers over it. That's how it happens. So it's a lot of, lot of intuitiveness also in the game, which has really made a very, very big punch in this game. How do you think it's going to, you know, what, what new features do you think they're going to put in this game that will set it apart from the previous installments? Because at the end of the day, it's, you know, the same, I mean, yeah, it's going to be a new storyline and everything, I'm sure. But at the end of the day, it's the same thing, you know, they solve puzzles, they solve mysteries and they have to defeat the bad guys. But do you think it's going to set it apart for, you know, the fans to go out and say, okay, I really need to get this game? Is that, that one unique selling point that this game has? I think, yes, the unique selling point is that it's coming in the next gen console. So what really differentiates is a lot of new graphics. So graphics are something that really, you know, they, they submerge you in the game. And while I was looking at the trailers, that is what happened. The protagonist, he's going all on. He's, he's, he's all there by himself. He's killing people. He's taking more stuff. That is obviously what he does in every other edition as well. But here it becomes very, very camouflage. And it's more about thinking. it. So, you know, it's not a game where you have a map where you can just locate yourself and target and find out what you need so to do It's about next. discovering, it's about it's, it's an, it's a solving game. puzzles, yeah. it's about getting to the next, right. basically a lot of obstacles and you lot have of to obstacles. and the protagonist And I would say it's a, it's a very intelligent game at the same time, you know, because again, it's, it's not about just a road map that's laid out and you need to do that. So, you know, you, if you're standing at a point, there can be four exits through it, but you need to really rely on your gut feeling and see where it, may, it would make sense. Yeah. So that is what really sets this game apart. <laughs> We've got uh, Project Cars coming up. Uh, it's one of the most anticipated, one of the most hyped games. And recently, especially in 2014, there haven't been that many great racing games, you know. Uh, the Crew, Drive Club, both very disappointing, both less than impressive. So a lot of hope on Project Cars. What do you think it's going to bring to the table? I think th what will really set this title apart from other games that we saw which have been disappointing is the fact that all the cars and all the racetracks are licensed. So it gives you the real feel. And it's true to its, uh, you know, origin. The, the, the game is only about racing. It's pure adrenaline rush. So, you know, you have licensed cars. There are about 49 licensed cars that you have. And you can, I mean, you get the real feel of it. You actually would feel that you're driving it in your real life. So I think for a true uh, car fanatic, this would definitely be a game that he has to look forward to because this is the closest that he could get to a real life racing. Well, it's been some time at least for me since I played a good racing game and I'm really hoping that Project Cars will live up to the right, expectations. Right. It's, it's been long, it's been long. The last, it, the last games that we played was probably GT, you know, the Gran yeah. Turismo series. Yeah. After that, it's always been about open world cars, yeah. you know, where you're doing cars. It's, it's been hit and miss. It's been, it's been nothing, hit and misses. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they've, they've, been, they've been titles which have been very, very, you know, inviting for everyone because it's role playing, it's open world, you can take any car and run around but this is a true true racing car you know so that is what will really set this apart long date with the phone and I'm really honored to share my first impressions about the Huawei Honor 6 Plus. But the moment I was handed over this phone, I was already impressed by the make of it. But the moment it landed in my hand, I was delighted. The phone is not at all bulky. It is slim, curvy and has a metallic finish on its side. The Honor 6 Plus has a 5.5 full HD display. It has a good color fidelity, good sun legibility, and one of the most impressive displays in the smartphones that I have ever seen. So Huawei Honor 6 Plus comes with its own high silicon processor with 3GB of RAM. And in my experience, I had no problems in multitasking, using any applications on the phone, like playing games or sending mails, and various different things that one can do with the phone. And I think the phone's performance is in fact great. The other specifications of the phone includes 32 GB of internal storage, which is expandable up to 64 GB by a micro SD card. 
and it runs on a 4.4 KitKat with Huawei's Emotion UI 2.0. The reason the phone would stand out in the market would solely be because of its camera. The phone comes with 8 megapixel dual camera at the back with refocusing capabilities and at the front also it has 8 megapixel camera which is a delight for selfie lovers. But the best thing about the front camera that I really liked about was this. All the selfie lovers would love to know that the Huawei Honor 6 Plus comes with a video recording facility in the front camera. Not only that, you have filter option also from Valencia to Sweet. And likewise, you can change the filters according to your mood. And back to original. Although the phone comes with 3600 mAh of battery power, I was somewhat disappointed with the battery performance. On an average, the battery can last for 20 to 25 hours, but on a heavy usage, the phone battery lasted for only 12 hours. For me, that was disappointing. The phone is priced at 26,499 rupees, and at this amount, Huawei is offering a great package. The phone has a great display, great performance, and an excellent camera. But I was a little disappointed with the battery life and I think Huawei can work on it in the future. Okay boys and girls, we have one more game to go. And if you're a hardcore gamer, then this upcoming title should bring back some fond memories. Okay, last game on our list. And this one I know you're very excited about. What is it? It's the Metal Gear Phantom Pain. I think that, I mean, you can just see the smile on my I face know, and I you can see how excited I am. So Metal Gear is a series I still remember uh, when I had the PS1, the first Metal Gear series came. And I still remember that how Snake would crouch through things. And it was, it was a very, very hard game. And you know, 15 years back when the PS1 was launched, we were kids, you know, you, you didn't have that much aptitude to compute a game. And it which was, was one of the most toughest games It was one there. of the toughest games as well, yeah. I mean, it wasn't just one, you know, you just shoot some yeah, bad guys. You not actually a, not a thing have about to shooter. use your brain because the biggest part of Metal Gear has always been stealth. Stealth. And obviously, in, even in this one, it's going right. to play a major part. Right. But is there going to be anything different to the stealth? Or so, is it yeah, the stealth is the biggest part again. But what comes in as a surprise is that you get another accomplice. And it's a girl who is called Quiet. So she's someone who doesn't talk. You can obviously communicate well, the with her. The name suggests that. <laughs> but you cannot talk to her. She won't reply back to you. But you can just communicate with her on a messaging service. And she is good at, you know, overshadowing you when you're doing combat. So she's very good at snipers. That's what her main role is. She would stay at, at least 50 meters apart and, you know, kill your enemies or at least warn you. Or at least, like, you know, kind of dissuade the enemies coming for you. So that way, is, I think it becomes a bigger game. Okay, so if you, out of all these games that we mentioned, if you had to pick one, which is the one game that you're looking most forward to, and just to summarize it in one, one sentence, tell me which game is the most uh, exci you're excited about and why you're looking forward to it. For me, Uncharted 4 has to be the game that I'm looking forward to for sure, because um, this game is very raw. It's very, very punchy as well, and it's an open world without a lot of technological assets with the game so as you go forward there are things that you pick up you you pick up you know saber tooths as well so you kill an enemy he's got a saber tooth you pick that up you do rock climbing with that so this is something that really makes a very 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 good uh, punchline to the game and it's a very good gameplay as well but obviously you have to say you have to admit that batman arkham knight pretty amazing for sure i mean especially it's, it's a full because HD you get game. to full <laughs> hd but also because you finally get to ride the batman the movie. Batman movie.